that on? Yeah, it's on. Hi, it's everybody. Like, Welcome to the iPad. <laughs> Three, two, one, Please. go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the iPod show. I'm here with Jay Tizzle and WF. Is that right? Yeah, close enough. And, uh... We're not gonna. We're, well, we're we gonna take a little break from wrestling. Uh, we're, what are we gonna talk about today? All right, today we're doing an album review. I'm gonna get Fitzgerald. This clown is Jay Tizzle, and today we're gonna present to you. Um, first, I want to do a little setup on this. Okay. Because we're gonna do album reviews, and I've, this is kind of unorthodox. We've never reviewed an album in this in this manner. Never. <laughs> so basically, Jay Tizzle's never heard this, and I've only heard. Snippets of it on YouTube, but I think that's enough to adequately review this album. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, basically, for, well, first, I, I, I want to say I have the utmost respect and admiration for the composer, Lord K. Philipson, I believe his name is, um, and Jorgen Sandstrom of the Project Hate. I was Project Hate? You guys, correct. This is a new one? This is, a, well, the latest one from 2014. Oh, boy. You guys have created some of the fucking craziest shit I've ever heard. Really, really good shit, man. I mean, ball-busted, brutal-ass fucking death metal. Exactly. And I want to say, you know, I don't mean this... Well, actually, this is disrespectful. But, <laughs> I couldn't create something better. And neither could Jay Tizzle. Okay. So, basically, this is a review of your new uh, fucking... Project Hate. Let's see what it sounds like a little bit. Churned Earth, whatever the fuck it's called. Now, it's deceptive at first, because you hear it, it's so goddamn heavy. But what I want Jay Tizzle to hear... Oh, that's not pretty bad. Not bad, mate. That's not too bad. I want to I want to gauge your reaction. Where's the volume? My volume? Oh, you yeah, need to turn it up a little bit. All right, that's good. We're really low tech. Let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> like a blackbird, man. No, listen. That Ruby Rock was um, average, basic, so yeah, yeah, not flat, 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 very flat, very uh, tonal, just right. kind of like you know. So I really, really hope. I'm not entirely sure what they were going for. You got listen to that. <laughs> what the hell? So this is just like a crappy glance thing, man. I, I, I just I don't understand. You know, why did they do that? Right. You guys have crafted some of the, the greatest fucking satanic music I've ever heard. Like, in Horror Mortis, Nostre is one of the best fucking albums that I have in my collection. I would I would not pay more than three bucks for this album. I don't want it at all. As a matter of fact, I'll give you this burn copy. Not that I approve of illegal downloads, but it was the only way I could get this fucking album down here. Yeah. Because... Well, technically, you have to buy this, but I'm not spending a penny of my fucking money right. on this. It's garbage. Yes, it is. It, 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 the death metal is good. It's just the fucking the chick singer. She can't sing. Her voice is completely destroyed. She fucking, any, she pretty much ruined this band. Exactly. So what Project Hate needs to do is they need to take some time, go back to the drawing board, I get and get their other out. singer. The, the good singer. Exactly. Figure out what time to go back to basics. Call up Joe and Cal. Beg on your hands and knees, Lord K. Phillips. And I know that you're a proud, proud Swedish man. <laughs> you fucking, you know, uh, I'm Lord K. Phillips and, and no one's good enough for me. We'll fire every female singer that we have. Well, that, you know, that's a great attitude for you in your elitist ways, with your global domination, where you have a website where you make fun of. I think this back. I wouldn't pay a penny for this. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, no. it's crap. This is like... Let's listen a second at this. Alright, we'll turn it up a little bit again. Oh, 
I mean, musically, it's not bad musically. It's just, I mean, the demo vocals are good. It's just the fucking dude. They gotta do something. I mean, this is, you know, I don't know how the other people review this, but right now, it's not a thumbs up, not a thumbs down. It's a <laughs> well, that's technically a bonus. I'd rather eat a pile of garbage than listen to this. Actually, this is a pile of garbage. It should be in the, it should be in the trash with the rest of the stuff of the other stupid songs. Well, the good news for you, Jay Tizzle, is that it's not available in disc form. You can only download this album. Oh, well. So it's out there no big in, the, in the digital trash. Right. I'm glad I didn't buy this, like, you know, out of the blue, like, found it and bought it. I'd be very disappointed. I'm extremely disappointed. I'm telling you, Lord Philipson, crawl on your hands and knees, beg Joanne Kell to come back to your fucking band. She was the best female vocalist you ever had. She complimented Jorgen Sandstrom. Every fucking song she was on was absolutely brilliant. And if they should do, they should get that. Uh, the other thing that they should get, and uh, I can't remember his name, I've heard in a while. He's in a bunch of bands. Oh, Martin, Martin Van Drummond. They gotta get him back. Well, I mean, Martin Van Drennan was good. He was on a less trade process, and his his vocals, you know, they complemented the trade off with him and Jorgen Sandstrom. But that doesn't help. Like half of their music is female vocal That's true. Yeah. So, like, I just say that they got there's nothing wrong with the male they part. They got that three together. I think they could come up with something. Yeah. Good. I mean, Jorgen Sandstrom's one of the best death metal vocalists. If I had to have a top ten, he's definitely in the top ten somewhere. I think about nine. Good. About nine. Right, I couldn't really number him in there, but I mean, if you hear the guy, you instantly recognize him. Yeah, he had an amazing voice. It's like, it's, a, it's garbage. It's just a pile of crap. It is rubbish, as my English uh, fans you know, would I mean, say. You know what? Yeah, this is, we do this, I want, I'm going to break it. Just keep it I'll break it. You're going to break it right now? Uh, yeah. All right. Get yourself. I don't want I don't want to hear no more. <laughs> I don't want to hear no more. Oh, man. You weren't kidding. This, this album is crap. Alright, so this was fresh out of the burner this morning. So here we go. Damn! That's it. See, I, I, this one, I'm mad. I'm not going to listen to them for a long time. But I will listen to old shit. Because old shit's killer. This shit is definitely, definitely zero. No good. I won't even rate it how bad it is. It's minus infinity something out there or whatever. I gotta say, I didn't see this coming. I didn't see it coming at all. Like when I think of Project Hate, you know, I think they're always pushing the boundaries. They're, they're always they're like, like they got that fire, man. They had that fire, right. that brutality, but with that singer, that like the old singer, what's her name again? Joe Ankel. She had that voice that fit with the band. It did. It worked. I mean, music and, and their style and the musically, this album is kind of just a basic death metal with a crappy. Um, fucking female vocalist. Yeah, that pretty much sums up how I feel about it, but, uh-huh. you know, like I said, um, Lord K. Philipson, back to the drawing board for you, you know, crawl on your hands and knees, because that's a funny mental image, you know, this proud <laughs> Swedish fucking arrogant. Please, dickhead. please! Oh, please, Joy God, I've ruined my own band with my own arrogance and snobbery. Uh-huh. I've, I've completely destroyed my credibility musically. Yeah. And he actually stated... In a in a fucking interview that I read, uh-huh. he said that he's never been more proud of of anything that he's ever recorded. And I can't listen to more than a minute of this album. Like yeah. you, I played you, it at you, work you, on you, YouTube. Your teeth just grind, like cringes. You're She's horrible. To... Yeah. She Where is. the fuck did they find this girl? She is terrible. And uh, I mean, I'm sure she's a very nice person, okay? Yeah. I'm sure, you know, this isn't a statement is on she her. She could look at. I, I don't fucking know. Oh. Well. Pull up the website. Pull it up on your iPad. <laughs> yeah. Well, fans, I, you know, all right, so if we give it a, are we going to do a scale of 1 to 10? Yes. All right, I give it a negative 10. I give it a uh, <laughs> negative 30 or 40. Infinity. Boom. Boom, I wasn't done yet. Oh. Now, now we're going to listen to a real band that's come back and they're making an album and they're making an EP and a new album with Dave Lombardo. Oh, yeah. Suicidal tendency, man, because you know why we're suicidal? And like you said before, they got to get back. They got to get Ricky George to do that album. That's right. Ricky George. I think it'd be complete. The whole band would be complete. Ricky George needs to leave Fishbone. Rocky George, not Ricky George. <laughs> he needs to Ricky leave. Ricky George. <laughs> Ricky George 
Stop what you're doing. Drop Fishbone completely and return the suicidal tendencies. That's and what do the that world EP wants. and that last album. That's yes. exactly what it is. And Dave Lombardo, go for it, man. I know it's going to be killer. That suicide. I just know it is. It but I know I've said that in the past about certain bands. It's like, you know, that's why I don't like to do that. But I really, if Dave Lombardo comes back, Rocky George comes back, it's going to be phenomenal. And <laughs> Go Look at what Suicidal Tendencies did when they came back with 13. Yeah. Amazing fucking album. Hit fires on all cylinders. It takes every point of their career, every sound that they ever had. You got your funk. You got your punk. You got your thrash. You got your melodic thrash. You got everything. It's, metal. It's got metal, too. Metal. It's all smashed in there. Mike Muir never, has never sounded better than he has on that yes. album. So, yes, anticipation is high. Oh, yeah. You know, if they come back with a freedom or another free your soul, save my mind, then, you know, it's probably a good idea for suicidal tendencies it's to call it a day. Carter Tyler said, well, I'm not doing this. But you know, I don't think it's going to be like that. 13 would be a hard album to follow up, but oh, yeah. I feel well, like I, I, I feel like we Lombardo. And Mike Muir and Rocky George would come. They could, that that would bring that chemistry. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Now, but I'm done, boom. <laughs> we'll review Suicidal 13 at another fucking okay. time. So everybody, wrestling fans, don't worry. We will be still doing wrestling. We're just taking a break. Okay. Well, well, everybody have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Who gives a fuck? I hope you fucking puke. You whores. I hope you get fucking raped. Good night. Boom. <laughs>